be or not to be? That is the question. Romeo, Romeo, where for Arthur, Romeo? Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. These are just some of the very famous lines from some very famous plays, written by one very famous playwright. And they were all originally performed at one very famous theatre, The Globe. The Globe was first built in London way, way, way back in 1599 by a theatre company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men. And you've probably heard of their playwright, a guy called William Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a bloke who 400 years ago sat down and wrote a bunch of plays and we're still performing them today. That in and of itself is an amazing thing. Yep, and the plays that bloke wrote are some of the most no, well-known in history. My favourite would probably be Macbeth. Macbeth, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, yeah. I like Romeo and Juliet because it's simple, everyone gets the idea of it, and yeah, it's a cool story. Oh. On your a lot of Shakespeare's plays continue to inspire new movies all the time. In fact, you've probably seen some of Shakespeare's work without even realising it. Oh, I just Unfortunately, the original globe burnt down a few centuries ago. They did build another one, though, just around the corner from the original, which, if you are lucky enough, you can visit one day and see some of these iconic plays in action. But if you can't make it over there, don't worry, because this guy has created a full-size pop-up version, so Australians can experience what it was like to see a show back in Shakespeare's day, too. So what we wanted to do was be as close as possible in every way we could to the experience of Shakespeare's own theatre. And what we found is that when you replicate that experience, boy, is it engaging. It's a night like any other, unforgettable. There are a few big things that make the globe pretty different to anything you'd see today. It has three storeys of seating and can hold up to 3,000 people. But at the base of the stage, there's an area called the pit, where people stand and watch the performance. Although, there's also no roof. So if you're standing, you might want to bring an umbrella, just in case. This is like a rock concert. Instead of a conventional theatre experience, there's nothing buttoned down about it. It's closer to a footy match than a piece of theatre. It's fantastic. It's uh, having this entire building filled with 900 people screaming and yelling and booing and uh, oaring and covered in blood. Wait, did he say blood? Oh, don't worry. It's all fake. The pop-up globe has been popping up around the country, and now it's popped up in Sydney, where these guys say audiences are sure to get an awesome Shakespeareans.